Initial skirmishes happening around the map. Yeah, we can see four men focused on the A bomb site for Astralis. Make it five Dupree's here as well, but the bomb is going elsewhere as we can see. They're being actually pinched by Double Pony, or they were, but the pony's been put down, it seems, in the pistol round. The numbers game working out well, but one versus three. It's doable for Body. It's got a tight angle to try and isolate the fight. It's got a fallback for the reload, however. You can see Astralis lining up to try and make this as hard as possible. They'll choose to push in as well, abusing the numbers, and Astralis will take their seat. Four Astralis, although they're trying to fight before the bomb is planted. Either way, they'll have to re-aggress. We can see there was a lurker in mid in Joko, but he gets popped through the smoke, that UMP coming in clutch once again. Well, Pony can stand. Really trying to do what they can. He's all got some nice angles. Lucky's got one here. Body will fall to the bullets. That's a huge headshot from Dupree. Five versus two, but someone's got to get on this bomb. They're really raining in the kills here. Bubsky coming through from the back, and that wasn't expected by Afro. A classic textbook retake from Astralis. And again, Double Pony are going to have to dig deep if they are. And see what we can do here. Four players gathered up for Astralis. However, there is a very warm welcome waiting for the Pones. Oh my god, Zipex with three headshots. The man is just delicious with a rifle in his hands. We can see how Astralis used the incendiaries to slow the push of Double Pony initially to allow the rotation to have more players here. More of a stronghold on the ape. What else is to come from uh, Zipex later on? And again, just one kill in this round. Have a look at the money for Astralis. 5-0, Glaive on the CT side. There will be no shenanigans. Be a clear cut thing right off Ooh. the bat, and Magus gets the timing impeccably correct. Oh, and a follow up HE as well. Again, okay, nothing showing just yet in terms of the kill feed for Double Pony. And they've just got stronger angles here. Astralis. We've got support flashbangs from Glaive as well. Beautiful stuff. You know, it's worth mentioning, actually, now that I look at it, that, that uh, a Double Pony in their first match had 45 average damage per round with nades against, the, against the Vitality. So they were definitely popping off. That's way... Didn't somebody die last round? Did Astralis kill themselves? Oh, so it's uh, Astralis have been alive <laughs> two, two rounds in a row. They have hey. five alive to make a play towards the site. We can see that there is some gravitation towards A from Astralis and Double Pony. But finally, the numbers are thinning for Astralis. Wall of Smoke is up. We can see that there is a deterrent for planting the bomb. There's the Lurker eliminated. Only two remain, though, for Astralis. Oh, the lineup! Bubsky won't let him have a single round. It looks like deleting everybody. Desperately tries to plant the bomb. Looking for that angle. Zipex hunting in the smoke. Not quite there. Have they got this double pony down to that USP? Bet he wishes he had a 5-7 now. Um, Joko. Hoping to take Bubsky down, but... Uh... The Bubs is currently defending B site. Dupree there to help out. Body is already out of the picture. Oh, almost Dupree. Double Pony are crawling to the B bomb site. Lucky and Afro with a combined 13 HP. So there is a chance for Astralis. Down goes Afro. There are smokes as well to keep that wall up. Now, will Glaive check for a flank here? We can see Joko is on the way, but he's on the reload as he's having a look see. Too close now. Joko with two and Double Pony with two. Ready and waiting. Unfortunately for him, no targets presenting themselves immediately. Megisk, though, already finding a kill. Yeah, they're really committing to this. Astralis taking the fight to Double Pony once again. And Astralis had an average of about $11,000 oh, at the beginning of this HG. round. So again, ponies have got more to do. Nice HE to eliminate Magisk on the stairs. Oh, Debris with these bursts towards B. It's utterly, oh my God, it's just X-rated. HE over the top and there's the Molly as well, trying to create some room here. Late Lurk, and there's the shot. Bait and switch. Afro not going to miss that up. On this occasion, of course, it's a three versus one. Very strong play for the tease. The jiggle won't be enough to pre. Looking to eliminate four players now. 22 seconds, and as soon as the shot is fired, Afro's fate is sealed. Astralis are very comfortable right now in terms of who needs to do what to get the kills. Oh, got to be careful. It's a very fast round from Double Pony. We had three CTs here, two remain. Bubsky holding an angle on short as there are plenty of question marks. Area control with the incendiaries in both directions. And Astralis will re-aggress. There's an option for Magisk. Looks to fall back on that. Went out, stay as welcome. Plant the bomb earlier for Double Pony. They've got no smokes left now. Magisk has to find a safe space to reload his gun. Bubsky will create that space for him. And then it was just lucky. Versus four again. Astralis looking to build more cash. They'll do exactly that. They respond with strength, Astralis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, good times, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bubsky oh, holding down the mid position once again. Support a little further away. Be reading this response. Lucky makes his way into the B bomb site. He's been hurt, though, by Glaive. Dupree's here as well. 
3v2, the bomb is still en route. Tipex rotating from A as well. You can see Ma Magist just posted up in CT spawn. You can see the Pony looking for the kills. They want to make it a better post-plant position by getting kills earlier. The pop flash is there, but Astralis are... They're passive enough to avoid more eliminations here. Astralis are on the way. There's Dupree looking for the burst once more. Sipex delivers one versus two. Now Lucky trying to isolate the fight as best he can, and he will, but he won't win it. Dupree, 16 for four. Everybody firing on all cylinders for Astralis as they move to 12. And uh, just uh, continuing to just dominate and uh, work well together. Enough on that. Just uh, more lakes of fire everywhere. How do you get through this? You don't. The answer is you die. I think a, a strong Astralis is important for the scene. And uh, we're certainly seeing Astralis, a strong Astralis right now looking for a 13th round. And they're well on the way. Four versus two. There is time for Double Pony, but that's about it. MBK looking for the second. Can't quite get there. He was a little blind. Lucky 25 seconds to collect that bomb. And there's Dupree with the angle in the rear with the gear. Third going on. They don't know if they're being led into a trap, but now the rotation really begins. The B-bomb site is ab abandoned. The bomb is planted now. We see an exchange around the space double pony. We'll see what Astralis do in response. We've got some flashbangs as they are all over this bomb now. The heat map is looking pretty insane at the moment, but they've got to start defusing that bomb. It's a 10 second defuse. How on earth are they going to do this? Magisk, he's got one HP and NBK will deliver all the kills, but I think they will just have the defuse. They really do need it as well. And there it is. Oh, man. Talk about cutting it close. I... The Mavigar S smoke grenades from Astralis. Giving them some dirty one-way peaks. Or apparently not. Lucky's ready for it. Let's see if Glaive chooses. Oh, that's an unforced error. Yeah, we've got three players on B now. Body has made his way over. NBK instantly traded. But can the rest of the CTs keep their man advantage? Plenty of pre-fire around these smokes, but that bomb has to get planted soon. Bubsky moving forward now, planting in plain sight. While he's being covered by Zipex. A little cheeky peek from Joko. Got some information as to the positions of some of these players for the retake. There are no grenades, no flashes, just an incendiary from Afro for this retake. So that really has to land in the right spot and force these T's from their cover. Bubsky trying to force the issue now, but the kills are all going the way of Double Pony. Magisk one versus four. They're starting to swing. Oh boy, they're looking wow. real sharp, Double Pony, even on the M4A4s. That was a great retake from them. The unforced error, though, that really that I called out was the Molotov overshooting the balcony that NBK was standing. The smoke now, and Afro is forced from his position. But it seems he may re-aggress as the smoke dissipates, and he gets a cheeky one on Glaive. Nobody can respond to that. Had the incendiary if ready, but he may be not... Exp oh, God. The timing of this. Matches could even get two from this. This could be the entire round right here. Deleted immediately. How could you expect that? The timing from Magis just knows he's not going to re-peak. He may regret not throwing that in Sentry, but uh, how about that for a response? The Sentry finally landed at Lucky's angle. What was this? The flash comes through, and it is not effective inside through the lower halls. Were they close enough to hear the footsteps? Yep. I think they were, and BK... High tailing it over here towards this B site, and there is no time for shenanigans here. Astralis need to get out onto the site immediately. Yeah, it's a big flashbang, but 10 seconds to plant, and it's never going to get there. You saw how far Astralis, he must give up his position. No sound cues from that Molotov. Lucky having a quick jump peek, and I don't know if he saw anything on the radar, but they'll definitely see that. Body eliminated. I don't know I don't know how much information, though, from that kill there is for Double Pony. Lucky completely blind, trying to fall back now. The only man to beat. He's got to stay alive for the retake. A swing and a miss. He's in so much trouble now. Glaive has the angle, and that gives them so much map control. This might be maybe a safe situation for Double Pony. Three versus five. They have no angles on the bomb site, and Astralis will continue to pursue. Big flashbangs. Trying to make it expensive. NBK gets a combo, though. Two versus three. Now, if Joker can deliver here, maybe the retake is on, but that might not be the case now. NBK with 23.50 will also be deleted. That is a huge round for really slow down Astralis. And you can see there is an expedition on a ramp from Double Pony, but NBK has been lost elsewhere, which is really going to cause problems. Now we've got some retake questions. Uh, sorry, rotation questions for Double Pony. Oh, the numbers are lining up. They're going straight into the toaster. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That was a very late headshot as well from Magisk. Well, there's a lot of utility in Magisk's hand, so he may be able to throw some junk to pull him away first or not. On this occasion, Afro is in the right place at the right time. 
18 seconds now for a bomb plant. He may have to try and find a kill beforehand. Lucky will though, and there'll be no bomb plant. Nine rounds for double pony to two. Very early on. Very fast play into the B bomb site. Huge entry from Glaive. The bomb's been spotted now. Full rotation. Oh, that's a close one. Just trying to grab some weaponry. Four AKs on deck. Now's lucky. Starts to hit his flicks. Surrounded by flames. Pubski's lurk won't work out in the mid position. Two versus three. The numbers are equal once again, but Joko's flank will be massive. Magisk has one minute to try and clutch this. See if he commits to the bomb plant. Oh, that's a beautiful HE from Afro. The junk just keeps on ramp. Dupree in the meantime in a duel over here towards B. But this Meg is finding the opening kill, and that has not happened in quite some time. And so Astralis. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, again. Again. Are you kidding? Oh, he's made up for it. It's fine. It's fine. Astralis, they've, this has got to be the round. And that's that may be the difference maker here. Oh, ye of little faith, James. You know what these guys are capable of with Deagles. They can still make it happen. They can still ruin Astralis' day. That M4 is absurdly expensive, by the way. There we go. Which one? The Tooth Fairy? Um, it's Deagles and a FAMAS for body. Double pony trying to get aggressive, trying to make the plays. And there you go. Lucky going to catch out Dupree. Listen, this round. Joko popping up to say hello. Some nice damage done. Maybe that tells the story later on in this round. But for now, he has been dropped four and four. There is utility for us. Try this. Where is Body going? Where is he going? Team, and we should be getting a bomb plant momentarily here. Bubsky has made his way onto that bomb site. MBK through the smoke, going to take down Glaive. Three on three retake scenario now for Double Pony. And NBK bringing it to a three on two in favor of the ponies. Problem for them because as you can see, they're still trying to make it to the bomb itself. There was a smoke to create some space, but it's such an easy lineup in the corner as well. Two versus two and time is running out. It may have run out already. Majisk misses his shot. Zipex now deleted as well, but I don't think there's gonna be time. No, I think this might just, uh, this might be it, James. One second. Oh, you can't they be get it. I thought it was over. Three for Astralis. Oh, the pony was turned into horse meats. To glue. You can find horse meat burgers in the UK. Is towards B. 39 seconds on the clock. Glaive starting to move in. Zipex just sees uh, a backpack or a waist or something. It gets the kill eventually. Three on three now. 30 seconds. Magic still holding angles. The bomb on the floor being thrown over. And Astralis fall to the floor. Bubski. He's alone now with 20 seconds. Forcing Afro away. He has a chance at least to do some damage as we head towards the 13th round now for Double Pony. NBK in a simple crossfire, but he peeks out early and Double Pony moves to Man Zipex. Glaze in the back with the MAC-10, so we'll see how that one escalates. There's the first entry. We still have a CT on short, so there will be problems here for Astralis. That's a chunky grenade as well. I did try and avoid the flash. Dupree holding the angle. Very nice work from Astralis. Try and go for alone. Smoked off. All the angles taken away now. That's a horrible one for him. This might be the end of the road for the pony. I might be off to the abattoir in game number one. Get the meat hooks out because Astralis are coming. They've got the butcher's uh, aprons on. And they're covered in blood. <laughs> this got dark real quick, Bardolf. Two AWP retake and it begins. They have a flank in Dupree and it will be a merciless headshot. Back of the head and dead. 16-13.